Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. In today's video, we will be doing a yoga sequence for when you have a cold. I have a cold right now. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. Uh, I almost didn't film this week for this week's videos, but then I was like, wait a minute, it's the perfect opportunity to show people how to do yoga when you have a cold. This sequence that I'll be sharing with you today is going to help you alleviate some of the symptoms that brings, that brings? Some of the symptoms that come along with a cold, uh, such as body aches, fatigue, just overall droopiness. <laughs> this sequence is going to help you just to stretch out your body a little bit, to get the blood moving again so you don't feel so tight and achy. And it's going to make you feel a little bit more awake so that you're not just wanting to sleep all day. However, sleeping all day might be a good thing if your body needs the rest. Yesterday, if you haven't seen it, I shared a tips video on everything that I do to kind of shorten the length of the cold whenever I do have a cold. Um, all the steps that I do to actually help the cold move along faster and not be quite as drawn out. So if you want to go check that video out as well, I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description box below. Also for this class, you will need one yoga block and all the substitutions for that will be listed in the description box below this video. Before we get started, if you aren't yet subscribed to this channel, take two seconds. It would really help me out to just hit that subscribe button down below the video to help this channel grow and expand. And also you will be getting two free yoga videos on this channel every single week without fail. Even when I'm sick, I still post videos. So please hit that subscribe button down below the video. It is free and I would love to have you join us in this community of subscribers of awesome and really nice people. So if you're ready, Grab your mat and let's get started. So you are going to take your yoga block, come to sitting down on top of it. So I'll show you this way first. You can touch your knees together and have your feet apart behind you, kind of in a V shape. Then take the block, you can place it at any height. I like to place it at the medium height and then sit right on top of the block. Your feet do not have to touch the block in Virasana here. So just be sure that you're sitting evenly on the block and you don't feel any pressure or discomfort in your knee joints. So I'm going to face this way. Sit up tall on top of the block on the two sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis. Close your eyes for a moment. Have your hands just down by your sides, relaxed. If you would like, you can have your hands on your thighs to plant them down onto something. If you don't like the feeling of them dangling, you can touch your heels or your ankles, whatever you'd like to do here. Just take a moment to quiet your mind and come inward. Focus your attention on your breathing. If you have a cold in your nose and throat, it's likely that you're congested. So you can breathe whichever way that you would like to. You can breathe the traditional way that we do in our yoga classes through the nose, or you can breathe through the mouth. You can actually even do some ujjayi breath, which is breathing through the throat. So whatever you choose to breathe, however you're choosing to breathe, just focus your attention on your breath and remain here for a few moments.
So take an inhale, lengthen your spine, sitting up tall. And on your exhale, drop your chin to your chest and begin to roll your head around to the right. Keeping the rest of your body stable and be very gentle with yourself here, especially if you are ill. The neck muscles are probably tight and achy. As I'm doing here, you can keep your eyes closed if you would like to. And just begin to roll out the head a few more times to the right, gently and slowly. Drop the chin to the chest and begin to rotate to the other side. Left ear to left shoulder, looking up, and then right ear to right shoulder before dropping the chin to the chest. Gentle and slow, stretching out the neck muscles. The shoulders and the upper back are stable for now. Keeping your eyes closed or open if you would like. Whatever you choose. And drop the chin to the chest. Gently lift the head up. From here, lower the left ear to the left shoulder and then wrap the left arm around the head. Don't pull the head over to the side. Just gently allow the weight of your arm and your hand to pull the head over, stretching the neck muscles on the right. Remain even on both sits bones. Your spine is straight up. Shoulders are still even. And slowly lift the head back up and we'll take that on the other side. Tilt the head over to the right, bringing the right ear to the right shoulder. Take the right arm, wrap it around your head, gently allowing the weight of your hand and your arm to pull the head over to the right, stretching the left side of your neck. Remain even with the rest of your body and just breathe. Release your hands from your head and bring your head back upright. And from here, hold on to your heels with your hands. And you're going to press your chest up towards the ceiling, looking up for a slight upper back arch. Open your shoulders, spread your shoulders and your collarbones wide apart, and reach the center of your chest up towards the ceiling as you look up. So just giving yourself a bit of energy here can press into your heels with your hands and use that to rebound your chest up towards the ceiling. And from here, slowly come up out of your arch. And from here, we'll take a twist. So bring the right hand to the left leg. The left hand can remain on your heel. And then use your arms on your legs to help you twist around to the left. Looking as far behind you as you can, Feeling a twist in your spine. With each inhale that you take, lengthen your spine up even further. And with each exhale, twist just a bit deeper.
slowly unwind from your twist and we'll take that twist on the other side. Bring the left hand to the right leg. The right arm is on your heel behind you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, use your hands to help you twist around to the right. Just as we did on the other side, with each inhale that you take, lengthen your spine. And with each exhale, twist just a bit deeper and hold here. Slowly unwind from your twist, coming back to the center, remove your block and come to sitting on the ground. From here, stretch your legs out to the side. Flex your feet and point your knees and your toes up towards the ceiling. Your legs can be as wide apart as you are able to today. From here, bend your right leg in, bring the heel in towards the hips. The right knee is out to the side. You can keep it relaxed here as it's on the ground. From here, take an inhale and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, fold your torso over to the left. Keeping your left arm on your left leg and lengthening the right side of your body. Reach up and over on the diagonal and feel as much length in the side of your body, the right side, as possible. And hold here. Slowly come up out of your fold to the side and you're going to switch sides. So take the right leg, stretch it out and bend the left. Heel in towards the hips, left knee out to the side. Remain even on both sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis. Flex the right foot and point the knees and toes up towards the ceiling the whole time. On your inhale, reach your left arm up and on your exhale, fold over your right leg. Same as the other side, reaching the left arm up and over on the diagonal, feeling length in the whole left side of your upper body, and breathe here. Slowly come up out of your fold and we will come into a twist. From here, straighten your legs out in front of you, flexing both of your feet. Bend the right leg and cross it over the left, bringing the bottom of the foot to the ground. You have the option of keeping the left leg straight or bending it in. Bringing the foot in towards the right glute. Remain even on both sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis. If you cannot remain even or if you're feeling joint pain, be sure to keep that left leg straight. On your inhale, lengthen your spine and wrap your left arm around the right leg. Bring the right arm behind you. Take another inhale, lengthen your spine up once again. And on your exhale, twist around to the right. Just as we did with our other twists, with each inhale, lengthen the spine, sitting up taller. And with each exhale, twist a bit more. And remain here.
slowly unwind from your twist, uncross your legs, and we'll take that twist on the other side. Start out by stretching your legs out in front of you, bend the left leg and cross it over the right. From here, just like we did on the other side, you have the option of keeping the right leg straight or bending it in. If you bend it in, just be sure that you remain even on both of your sits bones at the bottom of the pelvis, bringing the heel in towards the left glute. From here, wrap your right arm around the left leg and bring the left arm behind you. Take an inhale deeply, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist around to the left. Hold here as you lengthen your spine with each inhale and twist a bit deeper with each exhale. Slowly unwind from your twist, uncross your legs, and we'll come to lying on our back. From here, take the right ankle and cross it over the left thigh. Hug the knees in towards the chest, holding onto the hamstring on the left with both of your hands. Flexing both of your feet to protect your joints. Hold here for a moment, hugging the legs in, feeling a stretch in the hamstrings, the outer edge of the right leg, softening the hip sockets, and hold. Slowly release your hands from your thigh. Set the left foot down on the floor. Keep your legs in this shape and we're going to twist the lower body to the left. Bringing the bottom of your right foot to the ground. You can keep your left hand on your knee, your right knee, to help it stay in line with the ankle. From here, reach the right arm out but bend it in a cactus-like shape. Look over to the right. And you're going to relax here for a few deep breaths. Slowly come back to center, bring the legs back to the center, uncross the ankle and switch sides. Take the left ankle, cross it over the right thigh, flex both of your feet as you lift up your right foot, holding on to the hamstrings on the right side with your hands, hugging the legs in towards the chest, feeling a stretch in the outer edge of the left hip, softening the hip sockets, and breathe here for a moment. Slowly release the hand from the thigh, bring the foot down to the floor, and then twist the lower body to the right, bringing the bottom of your left foot to the ground. Keep your right hand on your left leg, keeping the knee in line with the ankle, 
and twist over to the left with your head. Reach your left arm out and bend it up in that cactus shape to open the chest. And hold here in your twist. Slowly unwind from your twist, come back to the center, uncross the ankles from the thigh, and we're going to take a Shavasana. For this Shavasana, I suggest that you elevate your head slightly, especially if you have nasal congestion or sinus pressure. You don't want to be lying flat, as you may know already, it causes more pain in the sinuses and the nose if you are lying flat as opposed to elevating your head. So I suggest either getting a pillow, a blanket, whatever you would like. You don't want to tuck your chin in towards your chest. You want to keep your chin elevated. You want to keep as much space in your throat and neck as possible and just slightly elevate your head up. So once you have your pillow of choice, come to lying on the back. If you can rest your head and your shoulders on the pillow, that would be ideal. Stretch the legs out onto the ground when you're ready. Separate them slightly apart from each other and relax them completely. Have your hands down by your sides and turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and begin to deepen your breath. However you can breathe in this illness that you might have, you can breathe through your mouth if you need to, that's totally fine if you have nasal congestion. Just begin to focus on your breath. Relax here.
Bring some slight motion back into your body by gently moving your limbs, your hands, your feet, your arms, and your legs. Bend the legs, roll onto the right side of your body. Rest here with your knees bent and your arm underneath your head for support. Use your hands to help you come up. Bringing yourself to a seated cross-legged position. Flexing the feet underneath the knees. Bring the hands to the legs. Close your eyes and begin to deepen your breath once again. Take a deep breath in, lengthening your spine. And a deep breath out. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if it helped you in any way, alleviate some of your cold symptoms. I know doing the class actually helped me. So if it helped you out, I would love to hear about it in the comment section below this video. Of course, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below the video. It takes two seconds, it's completely free. And I would love to have you as a subscriber and as a part of my community of subscribers of awesome and amazing people. So please join us and subscribe below. For even more yoga from me, helpful yoga tips and advice, I have a new website coming out soon. When I say soon, it has to be done by December, so stay tuned for that. But to visit the current website now with awesome yoga resources and free yoga challenges, visit my website, kriskayoga.com. And of course, also do not forget to follow me on Instagram for yoga motivation, inspiration behind the scenes of this channel, plenty of updates on the Insta story. I actually update on the Insta story more often than I post photos. So definitely head on over to Instagram and follow me over there as well. All of the links to everything are listed in the description box below this video. Thank you so much. See you next time.